Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on uh, Friday, October 14th, 2016 at 10.45 in the morning, Eastern Time. Now, I haven't really made a proper, uh, you know, Joe got home from England video since I got back. And this may go away to addressing that issue, but first... You know, some some things are just so wonderful you have to talk about them. I went over to Walmart today because essentially, I you know pretty much everything you know I use in terms of eating and cooking with on a nearly daily basis is pretty much you know exhausted. You know, when you're down to like one. One pound, you know, a one pound box of linguine and about three cans of tuna fish and <laughs> and, and you're out of your tomatoes, you know, uh, and down to two garlic, heads of garlic. Uh, it's, it's time to, it's time to move over to Walmart and shop. So I did that this morning. I uh, went over there around, um, well, I, you never want to get there much after nine, nine fifteen, because then that's when. That's when the side shave starts, you know. Well, it turns up one of the actors in the side show showed up a bit early. Now, had I not bought a single item at Walmart, the sight of this young woman would have made the entire trip worthwhile. At first, at first glance across the parking lot, I thought she was wearing one of these pink toboggans, you know, with a top knot. You know, like a ball on the top, you know, like you know, pink, you know, heavy, you know, thick, thick knit toboggan. No. As I drew closer to this individual, um, she had she had dyed, you know, the center part of her, you know, the the lower part of her hair was brown, you know, her presumably her natural color. <clears throat> but the top had been essentially spray painted pink, and she had had her hair sort of up in a big wad on the top, like a big knob, like you could pick her. Well, if if someone were able to pick her up, you could have used it as a hand. Now, this was not the only noticeable thing about this individual. She actually would have done a parody of Walmart shoppers, you know, like, like she could have been using a parody of a parody of Walmart shoppers. Naturally, if, naturally, of course, she was in uh, a very, very tight fitting sweat ensemble. How attractive. And she was one of these individuals that. Uh, how shall we say, has a lot of extra tissue hanging around, floating around, bobbing around, weaving around, bouncing around. For example, she was carrying a bag, which she may have, I suppose, maybe she called it her purse. She was carrying a bag. She had it neatly resting on her, on the shelf at her side, which was her big butt. Well, one, one side of her big butt. I don't think she was employing the other side to balance things out. I just, you know, some sites, you know, you want to drive four miles to see. Well, after that, I went in and shopped and all went well. Now, that's, that's basically as prelude to nothing. Uh, you know, obviously I got home safely, by the grace of God. Um, road construction had progressed apace. Uh, I think I showed you the new mailbox and some tidying up they've done. Uh, now today, they've actually opened up the connection to Worthington Road to Gemini Parkway. So they can just go straight through over to 71, I-71. And they're going to rebuild the stuff down there 
you know, where the old Worthington Road went down and the, curved into Polaris. They started doing that today. So I, otherwise, I'd be outside. But you know, all you'd hear is beep, 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 beep. Now we've been spared that for a while, but I think we're going to get some of that back. Meanwhile, the East Powell Road connector connection is open for a while until they decide to work on uh, uh, the western limb of the Bale Canyon Powell Road intersection. Well, those people down those people down there are getting screwed far more than I am. I mean, I I saw the right of way st stakes in their yards this morning. I mean, is there these these guys? This road's going to be right up against their house. Uh, probably even closer than my pole barn is to the road down, you know, into the driveway. Uh, wow, you know. That's bad news for a lot of these people in terms of just enjoying their property and way of life. Now, my big beef, as you know, has always been this island, this concrete island that's out, excuse me, in front. But I've now had four occasions to, you know, Come home on Powell Road, turn left, go east on Worthington Road, down to the Acorn Farms light and intersection. They have an intersection down there now. I can get it, I can I can go in, I can make it I can make a U-turn and come down and turn into my driveway. And it basically only adds approximately um, just not quite a half a mile to my journey, if that. So uh, that's worked out a lot better than I expected, although I still think it sucks that I, they had to build that thing right, right in front of my driveway. Done now. Um, uh, yesterday, uh, I went to go vote. Uh, let's get this over with, you know, get this nonsense over with. Because uh, generally then the, the political calls will, will dwindle down after you vote. Because they know you voted. You know, they, they get the, you know, they can tell who's voted. And uh, I went to where we usually vote early. There's an early voting center down here on Orange Road, but just about four miles from the house. And, and you know, I've, even though I like to vote, on the day, generally, there's times I've gone down there and voted early. Just, just okay. Let's just do this. Um, but apparently, they've they changed that policy this year, and you know, nothing about it on the internet. So, so much for checking the internet. Um, it was up at the board of elections in Delaware, so I had to drive up to Delaware and vote and. Uh, I mean, they're they're really good about it. I tell you, these guys, these guys, you know, they're good about it. It's you know, in out. But Joe, you say, Joe, how did you vote? How did you vote? How did you vote? Well, uh, I'm not one of these guys that you know gets a hard on about being asked how he voted. Um, whatever the outcome of this election, except possibly one. Well, no, not even that. You can't hang this one on me, dudes. Because I voted for Gary Johnson, the Libertarian candidate. I was not going to corrupt myself by voting for either one of these two clowns that are running. So, there. That took care of that. Um... You know, unfortunately, I've already gotten two political calls today, so that really has maybe, maybe unlike previous years, <laughs> it may not it may not work this way. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I imagine. I, well, I know a number of my viewers are aware that there's been a certain degree of uh, unpleasantness in my living situation for quite some time. Uh, that may be on the way to getting resolved, and I can't really say anything more about that until uh, things develop further. Uh, so, anyway, decisions have been made, and um, basically done out of sheer 
self motivation for self preservation. Uh, uh, no, perhaps more of that a nod, but not today. Meanwhile, it's a glorious day. Uh, you know, the trees are turning, and um, I'm here having a little beverage, and uh, that's. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I had to, you know, of course, I got a phone call last night from one of the women in the prayer group at 11 o'clock. Of course, I didn't, I didn't realize it because I was asleep. So I caught that on the answering machine this morning. Good Lord, I, I, she's older and she's almost 80 years old. She's, you know, she's up later than me. Alrighty, I'll knock off now. It's been a lot of fun. I, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Bye-bye, so, YouTube.